Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about being a seeker. Now, um, what I'm going to share with you guys today is things that I share with all of my clients. So being a seeker is a really great thing. So being a seeker, I'm talking about you seeking information, seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, uh, seeking enlightenment, right? Uh, so this can be in any area um, in regards to like psychology and science and um, spirituality. So basically, you know, a lot of the self-help, you know, type stuff um, as well. And being a seeker is great. As you guys all know, I always say knowledge is power, right? So this is a, a wonderful thing to be a seeker. Um, but there's a problem with this, okay? And I've even been, you know, kind of guilty of this uh, at times. And it's not something that we're really consciously aware of typically. And this is why um, I'm sharing this video with you guys today is to bring awareness to this. Um, as you guys know, I also say awareness is key, right? So knowledge is power and awareness is key. So you can't change something unless you are aware of it. Um, so what I want to bring to your awareness is if you are a seeker, that's wonderful. But sometimes as a seeker, what happens is that we're interpreting the information um, we become very self-aware of things, you know, which is wonderful, right? Awareness is key, right? Uh, we gain all this knowledge. Knowledge is, you know, um, power, right? We have all this wisdom. We are enlightened. Uh, we have all of these great things happening, but then we get stuck in knowingness. So we're self-aware, but we get stuck in knowingness. So we know all this stuff. We're interpreting all this information, right? We're gathering all this information, but we're actually not applying it, okay? And then because we don't apply it, we actually aren't embodying these things, all right? So for example, let's say you're trying to learn um, and, you know, change uh, yourself in regards to self-love, right? So you're gathering all this information, you could be taking courses, you could uh, be reading books and watching videos and doing all of these things, right? And you're taking in all of this information and that's great. Um, and especially in a world where, where we have all this information at our fingertips, you know, it's wonderful. But I've also found that with this world of technology that we live in is that we aren't just seeking this knowledge. We have so much available to us that our ego kind of gets in the way and says, you need more, right? We're also in this world of, um, you know, uh, abundance and, um, you know, indulgence, right? And just needing more and more and more. And so our ego says, you know what? You need more information. Um, and you gather this information and then you're like, I'm still not feeling like I love myself. Why, why do I feel like I don't love myself? Like I'm learning about this, right? I'm putting all this time and effort into learning about it. How come I don't love myself? And the EO says, you need more information. So we get more information and it tricks you into thinking that that's the solution and it's not. So this is why somebody can be really smart, right? You're gaining all this information. You're super intelligent, very smart but the emotional intelligence isn't there, right? And so it is because you're seeking and gathering all this knowledge and you're interpreting these things, but you're actually not applying it. So therefore you can't embody these things, right? And so in regards to self-love as the example, if you're seeking this information, that's great. That's wonderful. We need to have this, the knowledge, right? To, to feel empowered, um, you know, to gain this wisdom. That's awesome. But the problem is, if you're not applying it, you're never going to embody it. So if you don't do all the things, which is what I tell my clients in sessions, right? As a counselor, I can teach you, I can help you, I can show you, I can help you be aware of these things. I can do all of that. Um, you know, it's kind of like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, right? Like I can lead you, I can do all these things, I can teach you, I can show you, but you've got to do the rest of it. So then you have to take the information you've received, the, you know, the knowledge that you have, and you actually now need to apply these things to your life. And then with time of applying, 
then you will start to embody these things. We can't embody these things if we're not applying, right? And so this is something that we all kind of get stuck in. I know that I've, you know, like I said, I've gotten stuck in this too. So we get stuck in the state of knowing, or I call it in knowingness, but we're not embodying it, right? And so I'll challenge you guys, you know, to take a look and see if you're just gathering information or if you're actually applying it. So January has passed. We're into February now. I call this love month, right? February is love month. Um, so not just about self-love, but this is also the month where we've gathered the information maybe in January. We've been gathering. Now it's time to start applying. Okay, so let's start applying what it is that we have learned. All right? Um, instead of just being stuck in knowing. All right? So take the information you've gathered stop gathering more information right even if you did need more information start working with what you already have okay so that you don't get stuck in that place of just you know consuming information but not doing anything with it we actually need to, to apply um and i think we all it's it's kind of a, a bit of an addiction i think that we just gather 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 but we never actually do anything with it okay so ask yourself you know how many books have you read or videos have you watched or you know information that you've gathered on a certain topic or something you want to change about yourself but you haven't actually done it another big one would be you know like uh eating healthier working out you know you're gathering all this information but then you actually need to do it right like it's not just going to do it for you. So I think we we trick ourselves. Our ego gets in the way and tricks us into thinking if you just gather this information that somehow you will be this, that you don't have to do anything else. But actually we do. We need to apply the information we've received. Okay. And then over time of applying it, then we will embody it. All right, my loves. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, if it was, you know, please don't forget to hit the like button. Share this video with anybody that you think uh, it would be helpful for. Don't forget, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly community. Um, and yeah, so all right, my loves. And as always, until next time, I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.